Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another video log uh, series of uh, building my own uh, CDN. So this episode I am going to discuss about uh, minification of your uh, CSS scripts and uh, JavaScript. Uh, so every time uh, the topic comes about uh, minification, you can find uh, lots of information online uh, saying that it reduces the file size and it uh, eventually reduces your uh, overall latency of your uh, page loads and uh, the overall uh, download time and things like that. So it is uh, as a systems uh, engineering point of view, I uh, see there is a much more uh, uh, you know uh, uh, benefits associated to that, uh, not just uh, in terms of reducing your uh, file download uh, time. And in case if you are uh, browsing through your mobile devices, uh, in case if you are browsing through uh, uh, browsing uh, websites through your uh, mini PCs, uh, sometimes uh, these uh, uh, devices will have limited uh, CPU power and as well as uh, limited uh, uh, memory and so on. So in such cases, uh, what happens is uh, when the browser gets this file and uh, the parses of uh, the browser, uh, uh, the JavaScript parsers as well as CSS uh, script parsers uh, need to open these files and they need to parse these uh, script files and each time they parse these files, uh, they have to skip uh, the comments and they have to uh, skip any sort of uh, uh, white spaces and uh, uh, let it be spaces or tabs and uh, consecutive spaces and uh, things like that. So as long as it sticks to the you know, uh, scripting syntax, scripting language syntax, it is fine or uh, every time there is a sort of uh, these kind of white spaces comes the scripting uh, language interpreter have to skip all these portions and it has to uh, uh, collect all the information of your uh, you know uh, scripting context as so so this is what is the main advantage i uh, see in terms of minification of this uh, uh, scripting uh, uh, files as such even uh, sometimes it includes your uh, uh, standard uh, html or php files as well since the Google uh, PageSpeed Insights uh, tool uh, uh, suggested me to minify uh, my script files, uh, let it be CSS or even uh, JavaScripting files, uh, so I just started uh, minifying uh, my Joomla's uh, template uh, uh, CSS file. Uh, I'm using uh, uh, Joomla, as I said uh, in my uh, first episode, I'm using uh, Joomla for uh, uh, hosting my uh, uh, the Toffee uh, website. Uh, so i uh, started getting it there are tools uh, in the online you can uh, do the same but uh, i'm uh, very much worried because some of these tools uh, need to take the file as a whole the file is quite large uh, this uh, css uh, file of uh, uh, Joomla template is quite large and in case if you copy paste and get back your uh, uh, you know, minified code there may be any sort of bugs left so I decided to minify as much as possible uh, myself uh, uh, let it be uh, about few bytes here and there uh, savings I'm not worried about uh, bytes saved uh, in terms of reducing the network uh, download speeds or something like that I'm more uh, conscious about uh, how it can be optimized for these uh, scripting interpreters so that uh, it can interpret these uh, files as fast as possible and uh, it can render your uh, you know website pages as quickly as possible so this is my objective so as you can see here uh, this is the file uh, which i am uh, currently uh, doing the minification uh, this is a, a, a template uh, css file uh, which is being used across all the pages uh, being served uh, of my uh, joomla website so as you can see here, uh, this is the uh, original file and uh, this is the file uh, which I just uh, uh, started doing minification. I am doing a step by step basis uh, and uh, I am uh, keeping a note of uh, version so that if something goes wrong, I can roll back to previous version which is uh, working well. So that uh, and uh, this is the reason I don't want to use any automated tool and uh, screw up anything and uh, end of the day in uh, in any specific page it is having an issue. I am a little worried about the same. So there are uh, various levels of minification. Uh, which it can do sometimes uh, these uh, uh, online uh, uh, tools can even do uh, 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 you know uh, the css uh, tags it can uh, 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 it can refine these tags and it can uh, eliminate not only comments and uh, white spaces but it can also alter the code so this is what i'm exactly worried about i don't want to alter any sort of code i'm still uh, not an expert in web design but at the same time i'm uh, very much conscious about what happens uh, in a system level scenario so as you can see here uh, the original file is around uh, 7500 uh, uh, lines of code and uh, i hope uh, if i do minification of the same i can save around uh, more than uh, you know few kbs of uh, size so but uh, as i said before it's not size i'm worried about i'm much uh, conscious about uh, improving uh, the end users uh, uh, you know performance of page load times as so 
other than that uh, i need to focus uh, what are the uh, tools uh, which can be used uh, to build your own uh, cdn as i said in the first episode these are the various uh, baby steps uh, even before you considering uh, you know uh, building your own cdn uh, system so as much as possible i want to delay uh, building the cdn uh, as the way uh, traffic goes up uh, getting to my website uh, i want to uh, do uh, building this uh, you know load sharing options uh, step by step uh, as much as possible and uh, eventually i want to get to a point so that i uh, get an alternate server and i can start doing a distribution of my uh, web resources and uh, i can do a research uh, based on the same and then i can build any uh, extra components and i can build a few scripts here and there so that uh, you know i can build my own uh, private cdn so that's all guys uh, for this episode if you have any questions uh, please uh, post it in youtube comments or send me an email so thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day bye bye